I was born uh, uh, in the United States. My mother and father, they're from Barbados. They migrated here, and uh, as a child, three years old, I was in foster care in Queens. And uh, went through several foster care homes. They were Christian people that are very nice people. In my bringing up until I was 19 years old, and then the 1944, the war broke out, and about a year after that, I went, I was overseas. I came home after 1946, and uh, got a job that I worked. Then, uh, then I'm still looking for a place to lay my head. I'm still out in the dark, regardless, because my f mother, she got married again, and she had four other children, so it was not about hanging around there, you know. And uh, <clears throat> this is out, this is in uh, Manhattan, Manhattan, where my mother lived, you know what I mean? And my father also, he lived in Manhattan, but, and I, uh, and I left there, and uh, I went to sanitation department. I wanted a steady job, so tests were now, so I, let me try this, and I tried that, then I, and I, Past that, and within a year, I got the job, sanitation department, New York sanitation department. So I worked there 34 years. How I became a Muslim? That's in, that's in 18th Street, 1918. Because after all this, that this is in 19 early 51, 52, and uh, I'm going back to my pleasures. I'm coming back to, you know, the, the old neighborhood, 18th Street. Which street? 18th Street. 118th Street. 118th Street. In the up, in the city, in New York, uptown. I'm going uptown. <clears throat> so I'm going back there, and this is where I met, you know, many of the Muslim brothers that brought me into Islam, you know. And uh, we, at that time, they had the mosque. Uh, we had a place there on 38th Street. I don't know whether you recall that. That was the I first place on 38th Street. I think there. I recall that we had a place. Uh, the missionary was a. Uh, uh, Who was the missionary? Uh, Gulam Yasin. Gulam Yasin. And uh, he was very nice, very strict. He's an ideal person for the for that situation. Took a lot because he uh, was very stern. And uh, those fellows that were hanging around, they were went. They got jobs. They went back to school, etc. Uh, what got me interested in um, the universal. Uh, the, let me use the proper word, the universality of Islam. Coming from where I'm coming from, and I still maintain that today, that for what they ask, simply declarations, declaring oneself in the 60s and all, when everyone, especially the black people in America, they were striving to hold on to yeah. something. Not in the comfortable of not doing anything, but the comfortable, because it was, I'm watching the situation and you know, how, how must I get involved? Right. Boom, this something comes on, like me. Something like Islam, Mom, and it, uh, you had to get involved. You, you had to not only get involved, you had to declare yourself. You can't just live here and be a, a Republican, liberal, Democrat, no such thing as that. We won't accept that. This is what the world is generally saying about people. You have to involve yourself. And this is what I like about it. You have to involve yourself. Commitment is essential, that's number one. Regardless whether it's religion or not, it doesn't make any difference. Commitment is important. Don't fool yourself. It's here for you. This is what Islam is about, personally. If, if every, brother, every, every brother and sister can uh, commit themselves and act upon it, not just say, yes, I do, that, that's, that's nothing. You must commit yourself. This is a must. For, it's a it must. We, this is a very strong point. So I suggest that people, young people that are coming, or, or, look, this is not a club. This is not a hangout. You can benefit from this. Look at it. Give it an honest uh, 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 um, evaluation. Give it an honest evaluation. Put some sincere effort in it. So I say for anyone, Especially the people of the Amer of America. Okay, this is yours. But do something about it. Make some sacrifice for the cause.
He is so sincere in everything that he does, with, in general and with regard to Islam. Whatever he says that he believes, he tries to live it every day. And I think that's what he's trying to say also. It's one thing to say who you are. It's another thing to live that person every day in the small ways and in the big way. Commitment mm -hmm. in Islam and that you are dedicated to progress. Mm -hmm. Those are the three things that you always talk about. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what has been done. What's important is what are you still doing mm -hmm. and what are you going to continue to do? Mm -hmm. It's the doing, mm -hmm. because that's who you are, Mohsen. Mm -hmm. You do every day. People may talk about doing and they can give beautiful talks about what people should do, but you quietly do it. You do everything you can on a daily basis as a Muslim.